Martina Anderson, Patrick Pierce, Common Dura. Martin Luther King once said, many white Americans of goodwill have never connected bigotry with economic exploitation. They have deplored prejudice, but they tolerate or ignore economic injustice. In Ireland and across Europe, many political parties stand accused of tolerating or ignoring economic injustice, but not Sinn Féin. We know that equality is more than one man, one vote. Equality is about the right to a home, the right to health, and the right to education. Equality is about having the means to participate in society. And it is about jobs. Quality, well-paid jobs with secure contracts and decent working conditions. That is why I have challenged the austerity agenda in Europe. For the first time in 56 years, the European budget is being cut and it was cut under the Irish presidency. This will mean less money for rural and coastal communities, less money for infrastructure, and less money for small businesses. And all that adds up to less jobs. The Fine Gael Labour government that negotiated this cuts should hang their head in shame. As should their allies for austerity, Fianna Fáil, and of course, let us not forget, the unionist parties who supported them every step of the way. We need to be clever, very clever, about accessing EU funding that is available. And to that end, I have been promoting such funding opportunities and advising groups and organisations and people where to go to tap into them. I have held, for the short time that I have been selected as Sinn Féin MEP, over 50 meetings with small businesses and groups and organisations from both traditions, exposing them to the funding opportunities. I have taken Chambers of Commerce, SMEs and other groups to Europe so that they could understand the funding opportunities better. And in two weeks' time, working with my colleague, the Minister, Kjarni Killen, I will take a 25-strong delegation of the three sporting codes, GAA, soccer and rugby, to Brussels to explore the potential funding for sport organisations and the young people that they serve. We know that we are not just living through a deep economic crisis, but that we are living through a deep social crisis too. Young people are voting with their feet and emigrating, which is having a devastating effect on families, on communities, and on organisations like the GAA across Ireland. In the South, the state will be punished by the EU if it departs from austerity programme being enforced by the European Commission, which of course it does not want to do. And in the North, we will be financially penalised by the British government if the executive does not implement welfare reform. And let us be very clear about this. If the DUP had had their way, they would have had implemented welfare reform, lock, stock and borrow. The austerity policies of London, Dublin and Brussels have to change. There is, without doubt, there is another way. Invest in jobs and in growth. Invest in small business and in infrastructure and in clean, green industry. Give our young people, give our young people reasons to stay, not reasons to leave, not reasons to leave our country. Elect Sinn Féin 
MEPs to stand up for you in Europe. Go Thank you.